Welcome guys, this is my latest video from CVR POV. It's a Ford Fiesta and it's got some pretty decent damage on the front bumper corner which has also caught the textured trim and yet yeah, I've done a video on that one separately but I hope you enjoy this. Uh, we're going to be covering the bumper corner scuff today and it's a time lapse so it's going to be going pretty quick. I've managed to capture the whole day within a 9 minute video so here we go. First up is some keying up with some grey scotch which is how I always start my repairs. This uh, allows the uh, paint applications to adhere to it from now onwards. Grey scotch used with some soapy water wiped off with a microfiber and I'm just blasting out all the, uh, the gaps with the airline. Quick panel wipe, masking off some of the edges now because we're going to start sanding. So the first stage of the sanding process on this car is 120 grit on the DAS 6 Pro electric sanding orbital. Uh, I use this because it really cuts through the damage really well, better than the airline can. Intricate areas are done with the Mini DA, which is on the airline of course. Working away up the grits from 120, 180 to 320. Uh, this is just refining anywhere that we've sanded down and removing the previous stages of DA marks. The same with the 400. Uh, I've dropped onto the airline now because you get a little bit more accuracy with it. So I've just got a little mini polisher polishing up the fade out areas. One on the wing, two on the bumper. So we're already at the masking stage. I'm just masking this area off now including the alloy wheel tyre area. Uh, with some brown sheeting. I'm using the paintgear.co.uk masking magnets. These just really help to give you an extra pair of hands really while you're trying to mask up. So I'm just back masking off that edge because I want a nice soft edge. Masking up the grill. At this stage now we're not masking the whole entire project up, we're just masking up the areas for primer. So I've mixed up some 2K primer and I'm spraying that with a Iwata W300 I think. Uh, it's a 1.3 tip so it's normally perfect for applying this kind of primer. So I would have done two stages of primer there and then it's been baked for however long the primer takes. This particular one takes about half an hour at 60 degrees. Uh, and now I'm just sanding it down with the orbital sanders. I've probably gone on to either 320 grit or maybe 400. Uh, depends how much sanding it needs really. Depends how orange peeling the finish was when I sprayed the primer. Uh, usually a good rule of thumb is to go over it with uh, a bit of 320 then 400 and then 800. Uh, especially the edges make sure they're all feathered in accordingly. Okay, so what I like to do uh, on most jobs is I leave a lot of the masking what I did on the primer stage as it is, so it saves masking it up twice. So uh, we masked off the front wing. Obviously, we're going to be blending into that with the colour. I think it was magnetic grey. I've painted this colour a few times before. I'd always recommend blending it, especially on my scheme, which is a De Beers solvent. So we're just masking off the whole uh, vehicle now. We're bagging it off with sheeting. Uh, I've fixed it down with the masking magnets and some bits of masking tape uh, and now I'm just cutting around with scissors obviously we can start to see the whole repair area where we're about to spray so at this stage now I'm going to be giving it a really good uh, panel wipe down I'm just creating a little fade out area there uh, just with a bit of back masking and we're going to get ready to apply some paint so here's the base coat going on uh, it's three layers of solvent base obviously with flash off times and drying times in between. Now we're applying some clear coat, some clear lacquer. It's 2K lacquer and it's being applied through a GTI Pro Light 1.3. I'm just tacking it off there with a little bit of heat, I'm not drying it. Ready for the second application. A nice heavy coat. A little bit of fade out thinners with a dedicated gun, the LPH80. 1.0 I think it is just to flick a bit of thinners on the fade out areas what we're going to polish up where the repair ends each area uh, that I've lacquered is dried at 50 to 15 minutes at 60 degrees with the heat lamps you can check this with a thermal thermometer 
once it's dried and cooled if it's had any little nibs in it or anything that's landed in it uh, any little bits of debris or if it's I don't know if there's some dry areas or whatever it's just gonna have a wet sand down at this point it didn't really need it but I like to do it as a finishing process um, I sanded it with 1500 wet and dry paper then 2000 wet and dry paper and then it looked like I went over it with an Abrolon I don't normally do that but I had an Abrolon disc lying in the bucket at the time which was 2000 I went over with that uh, okay so we're already at the polishing stage now so I'm using 3M fast cut just polishing everywhere that I've sanded over the whole job I'm gonna carefully polish in them fade out areas and before you know it there we are so obviously that's a full day's work condensed down into a very short video really but I think it covers all bases it's really effective if you're interested in smart repair or if you want to know how people paint outside or if you want to go into the industry things like this weren't available a few years ago uh, I know a lot of you guys are interested in this which is why subscribing and following so I really appreciate it thanks for watching my video I've got loads of content to upload and yeah as you can see it came out really nice the customer was over the moon with it it was his son's car uh, nice glossy finish nice paint job color match is good we've faded it into the front wing we've done a couple of fade outs one there I also did a textured bumper repair which I've done a separate video on just walking around the job so we did a fade out up in this area here it's quite tricky to do a good fade out they don't turn out absolutely perfect every single time but when you've been doing them for a long time you do tend to nail them a bit more I have done a separate video a few months ago now on the uh, fade out that's what it was like before pretty cut up from the damage there's the front wing just going into the bumper corner nice reflective glossy finish trim repair came out really well that was the trim repair that's what it's like now as I say I've done a completely separate video on that if you want to watch that check that out that's the midway through the stages of the repair and there we are all done Press like guys, hit subscribe, I'll see you in the next video.